right, and the final proponent of the bills or bill is uh, James Bonham. Hi, I'm James Bonham. I reside in uh, Cecil County, Maryland. Um, I'm here as an extension of the Maryland Dispensaries Initiative, uh, also the Maryland Cannabis Club. I own a cannabis advocation company. I do graphic design for companies as well, making t-shirts called 420 and Friends. <sighs> We're here to talk about a plant. Not opium poppies, not cocoa, but cannabis. In theory, you don't think it'd be very hard to convince you guys, or the politicians in general, to legalize the one substance that's never killed anybody. The problem with marijuana is complacency. It's not too hard to get. It's too easy to get. Great man once said, great man, uh, name a red man. I, I used to want to legalize weed so I could smoke weed all day. But now, I smoke weed all day now. And in that, complacency is the issue. We forget about those who are arrested in racial disparity, those who are suffering from debilitating diseases. Um, we're franchising methadone clinics throughout our counties like McDonald's. Unfortunately, there's no value menu. We have no marijuana dispensaries to treat people with diseases they didn't bring on themselves. That disgusts me. It makes me sick. Seriously. I have a spot on my stomach. It was a big mole. It started when I was 12. Like little pimple, and it grew and grew and got nasty. Look, my father and mother are both cancer survivors. I made Rick Simpson oil myself illegally because it's not legal in this state. And I treated myself. I can show you the before picture and the after picture. It, you can see where it once was, but it is no longer there. Not cut, nothing. I put oil on it, cut it with a bandage. Three weeks later, it's almost gone. <sighs> Back in, what, 1930, the... Big timber companies, big fuel, big pharmacy all started lobbying against hemp and cannabis because one acre of hemp is equal to 300 gallons of oil, 30 tons of textile fibers. I just could imagine seeing a hemp field underneath um, these turbines, these energy fields, these uh, wind, wind, wind um, so, you know, the, the wind um, energy companies. But, um, and not only are we arresting with racial disparity, I'm going to give you an example of me and my friend Chris. Chris looks like Jerome Bettis. He's same age as me, lives in Hartford County, looks like a running back. He's 350 pounds, black. I've been arrested for marijuana twice. Once in Ocean City, Maryland, walking down the street smoking a joint. That's not what you do, and I was not responsible to use either. The cop basically popped out of the bushes, got me. Went to court, got out, went to court, gave me a $100 fine, GBJ, not on my record. Second time, Hartford County got busted with an ounce, went to court, they threw it out. My friend Chris got hemmed up for one gram of marijuana, has been hemmed up in the system for six years, in and out of jail. And it not only arrest me, but the enforcement in court is also made with racial disparity. Yes, um, Mr. Bond, yes. I'm sorry, your time is up. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, seeing there's no, no, I'm sorry. That, that is all that is signed up for on, on our sheet. So that, okay. Mr. Zirkin, thank you. Thank you so much for your testimony.